Well, at least 10 candidates have begun sitting their final exams at the Kenyatta National Referral Hospital in Nairobi, with some ailing from different diseases and others are pregnant. Even though they are in hospital, the examinations were taken under the keen watch of invigilators and security officials. There is a deafening silence at this room inside the Kenyatta National Hospital as five candidates began their exams today. The five candidates are reported to have been admitted at the hospital last night with different medical conditions. Pain appears to be etched across their faces. Three of the candidates delivered last night at the hospital, while another one is suffering from an acute kidney disease, and one more has injuries sustained from a fire incident. <laughs> Acting head of the Kenya National Examination Council visited the candidates and inspected the environment in which they are sitting their exams. In another section of the hospital, another candidate struggles to concentrate. It is clear the candidate is in pain. The pupils suffered severe burns on the hands, legs, thighs and even face after their house was raised down in Kajiado. Three candidates at the hospital are sitting their examination in difficult and painful conditions. Two have cancer of the blood, while another is being treated for diabetes. Despite their current predicament, these candidates have expressed confidence that they will excel in their examinations. And in Kitui, three girls in Seikuru sub-county are writing their exams from various hospitals after giving birth. County Commissioner John Ondego appealed to parents with pregnant teen candidates to give them moral support as they write national examinations. Unlike yesteryears, the exams this year have started on a Monday and will be completed on Wednesday. Nimrotabu, Citizen TV.